Today I will discuss the repeater camera glare that was introduced in the recent V11 software update in December. Here's what the problem looks like. When using the turn signals at night or in dark situations, the blind spot camera display will show a yellowish orange glare that blocks a lot of the camera's view. It's very distracting and makes this feature less useful. I'm surprised that Tesla did not prepare for this considering hundreds of thousands of Tesla Model 3s have this issue. The Tesla Guru's YouTube channel has posted a video covering this issue. This shows the area where the LED light pipe is located inside the repeater housing. You can see the camera is in the middle here. When the LED is flashing, there are holes in the camera PCB board that is letting light through right here. Also, there is translucent adhesive around the camera housing that is letting light in. The original design is on the bottom. The one on the top is a revision 2 that has electrical tape over the holes. Next, we have revision 2 again, this time on the bottom. On the top is revision 3 that has a new circuit board and has addressed the problem from a design and production point and not an after manufacturing band-aid. And this will be installed in my car today. Tesla Gurus also has a DIY fix for this issue. It's not easy and it's possible to destroy the camera if not done correctly. You need to drill two holes in precise locations and very shallow to not damage the board components. Then you need to add some black silicone sealant to fill in the three circuit board holes. And when you're done, you need to seal the outer casing. It also doesn't completely fix the problem. If you want to try the DIY fix, the link is in the video description below. Here is a view of my original repeater cameras activated. Sometimes the left camera didn't display with the same exposure as the other cameras. So it's also another reason to swap it out. I went on my Tesla phone app and scheduled a service appointment for the following week to replace the repeater cameras on the car. Some people have reported getting Tesla to replace these cameras under warranty. While I tried getting it replaced under warranty, Tesla has clamped down and is refusing to cover this issue. Personally, this is disappointing on Tesla's part since this is obviously a problem with the camera circuit board design. Even more obvious is that Tesla has fixed this issue with the latest revision of the part. Here is the service receipt and it details the costs. The repeater cameras are $130 each. Labor for installation of both cameras was $52.50 and the tax was $22.66, total cost being $335.16. If you prefer to spend less money, you could just go to the service center and pay for the repeater cameras and install them yourself for $260 plus tax. I found that the labor cost was reasonable. Since I purchased the new repeater cameras, I get to keep the old ones. I may do a DIY process on the old ones and test them out. If that works, I could always sell them or keep them as a backup. Comparing the new with the old, the part number is 1125106-00-B for the original 2018 Model 3. The new part is 1495865-20-D is the replacement part that works correctly. If you get a replacement and the part number is not similar to this one, it may not be the corrected part. The second revision repeaters still have glare, which comes from the glue holding the camera onto the PCB transmitting the LED light into the sensor. So make sure you get the third revision. Coming back to the replacement by mobile service. While the tech was at my house, due to Tesla policy, I cannot video him working on the car. So I'll summarize what was done. He removed the front mudguard held in by two trim clips, 
and then open the trim panel behind the wheel well. The repeater cameras are attached from inside of the car's fender panel. They are held in by clips, and he mentioned that they are not designed to be removed. The clips will sometimes break. He removed the existing cameras and unplugged the wire harness connector. He took the new camera and then installed it and then plugged in the wire harness back in. He closed up the trim panel and then reinstalled the mudguard. He then did the same thing to the other side of the car. I wanted to mention that the replacement repeater cameras come in black. If you want to have chrome like the original cameras, you need to either pay Tesla $20 each for new chrome trim. I decided to go without the chrome for the time being. If I ever want to, I could purchase them from the service center. If you want to reuse the original chrome trim, it can be done. Take the original repeater camera, and if you're careful, you can remove them since they are attached with adhesive. I would recommend using a very thin screwdriver or a plastic pry bar to reduce the possibility of bending or creasing the chrome. Once you get the chrome piece off of the housing, you now need to remove the adhesive the best you can. I used Goof Off or any similar product for this. Now that the black gunk is taken off, you have a clean area to apply some strips of double-sided 3M tape. Then adhere the chrome trim to the new cameras as you can see me demonstrating here. Now let's look and see how it works after the installation. First I checked out the view of the repeater cameras. They look good. They seem to match each other well. From what I know, there will always be an exposure and white balance difference between the repeater cameras and the rear camera. Turning on the left turn signal, no glare or flashing. Any flashing that you do see is a reflection of the turn signal on something behind the car. Turning on the right turn signal, there is no glare or flashing. I'll also show it while driving. First with the right turn signal. And then with the left turn signal. So in summary, if you have a newer Tesla Model 3 or Y that doesn't have this issue, you're in luck. You don't need to do anything. If you do have the problem, you have three choices. Do nothing and just live with it. Two, perform the DIY circuit board fix. And three, pay for the camera and either have service install it for you or do it yourself. I was curious on what the actual cost was since I've heard varying amounts. Now you know the total price if you want it done. Thanks to Tesla gurus for finding the root cause of this problem and coming up with a solution. I recommend watching their video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.